Have you decided it's time to add a canine to your family dynamics, but you're unsure on what breed to get? Well, in today's video, we're going to compare the differences between the Maltese and the Cocker Spaniel. Welcome back to the Fenrir Maltese Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Charlie and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. Everything we do here is dedicated to helping you find the perfect breed for you and then helping you become a high level canine leader who can raise the perfect canine companion. If that sounds like you, then make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to make sure you never miss another upload of the Fenrir Maltese Show. So let's dive in and get started with the history of both of these canines. The Maltese is one of the oldest breeds of dog whose ancestors can be dated all the way back to 600 BC. They've been a favourite family companion since the times of ancient Romans and Greeks. It's believed that the Maltese originated from Malta. It was in Malta that the breed became popular amongst the ladies of importance and the breed was treated with the ultimate respect. They were once even called the Comforter or the Roman ladies dog. Sailors used Maltese dogs to keep rats and rodents away from the ship's food supplies and they were also used to barter as currency for sailors to buy food whilst away from sea or docked in foreign lands. One theory is that the Maltese is a descendant of a spaniel type or spitz type dog. It's believed that Emperor Claudius brought the first Maltese over to the UK. By the 15th century, the Maltese was a firm favourite of the rich and noble people in France and by the end of the 16th century, the breed was extremely popular in the UK with British nobles and royalty. Cocker Spaniels as we know them first originated from the UK where they were bred for hunting purposes. However, their origins can be traced back to the 1800s in Spain as the word Spaniel means Spanish dog. The term Cocker comes from their use for hunting Eurasian woodcock. The breed was later brought to the United States where it was bred with different standards in order to hunt the American woodcock. After the Second World War, Cock Spaniels became very popular and in 1984 they were registered as the number one breed for the American Kennel Club. Prior to 1870, the only requirement for a Spaniel to be classed as a Cock Spaniel was that the dog weighed under £25. This was later changed to include ancestry as well as weight. The Maltese is a small dog with a regal appearance. They have long feathered ears that hang close to their heads. They have a broad muzzle and short straight legs. Their tail curls upwards over their backs which adds to their regal appearance. They have a long and straight pure white coat that falls all the way to the floor. They did once come in a range of colours. However, these colours no longer exist and white is the only colour available. However, lemon coloured markings are accepted by the Kennel Club. They are a perfect breed for an allergy sufferer as they have a hypoallergenic coat. They don't have an undercoat so they shed very little. Being a long haired breed, they do require daily grooming so make sure you have time to dedicate to this task or you can end up with a severely tangled coat filled with dirt and debris. They're one of the smallest breeds around, standing up to a height of 10 inches or 24 centimetres at the withers and weighing up to 8 pounds or 4 kilograms. The Cocker Spaniel's appearance is very different to the Maltese. They have round heads with square muzzles and long hanging ears which are covered with long feathered hair. They also have the same long feathered hair on their legs, under their belly and chest too. Cocker Spaniels come in a variety of different colours. Some come in solid colours of red, black or tan. Others can come in bi-colouring or tri-colouring. These colours include black and white, black and tan and black and white with tan flashes. A male Cocker Spaniel usually ranges in height from 15 and a half to 16 inches which is around 39 to 40 centimetres at the shoulder and can weigh up to 14 and a half kilograms or 31 pounds and females are slightly smaller. Hey guys, really quick message. I just wanted to let you know if you're struggling with any kind of behavior with your dog, I have a completely free course called The Principles of Canine Behavior where I boil down all of my experience, skill set and knowledge as a canine behaviorist and some of the most important things that you need to know. Again, it is completely free. There'll be a link in the description box below if you are interested and if you are, I can't wait to speak to you over there as well. The Maltese loves to be surrounded by people that as they're a very sociable breed. They're naturally very sweet natured and adore to please their owners, which makes training obedience and manners an easy task. Toilet training, however, is a different story. So many small breeds are notoriously difficult to toilet train and the Maltese is no exception. Small breeds struggle with toilet training because of their small bladders, which they struggle to hold for long periods of time. Small dogs also don't like the cold or wet weather because they're so close to the ground, so they may not want to go outside when toileting, especially during cold and rainy weather. The Maltese can also suffer from separation anxiety anxiety due to their social nature. If you don't deal with their separation anxiety, they can turn to unwanted behaviours like barking, destructive behaviour, toileting in the house and anxious pacing. It's important that your Maltese receive both physical and mental stimulation. They should get around 30 minutes of exercise every day. 
The Cocker Spaniel is known for being a gentle, loving and easygoing breed. However, they can be very lively due to them being bred as hunting dogs. There are mixed reviews about training Cocker Spaniels as every puppy is different, but they can be known for being stubborn. This can affect obedience training as and they are best suited to training with positive reinforcement, plenty of praise and treats. They can be a sensitive breed that don't deal well with harsh corrections or tones. They can also be hard dogs to house train if not done consistently. This aside, they love to be beside you and receive lots of love and affection. Cocker Spaniels easily get separated separation anxiety if it's not managed from puppyhood. They're very adaptable and can live just about anywhere as long as they receive plenty of mental and physical stimulation, daily walks and plenty of play sessions. The Cocker Spaniel needs around an hour of exercise a day to prevent them from becoming bored or destructive. They'll happily join you on walks, hikes, jogs and they'll even join you for a swim. Cocker Spaniels also do very well at agility so this might be something to train your canine in. Maltese dogs are usually fine with children and other pets especially when they've been properly socialised to animals, people and outdoor situations. They can can sometimes have issues with children and other animals if they've been overly pampered by their owners. If this is the case, they'll become very protective towards the person they've attached themselves to. They'll bark and could even bite if other dogs, animals or people are seen as a threat towards them and the family. It's essential that you teach your children how to handle and treat your Maltese. They are small dogs and can be easily harmed if not handled properly. Cocker Spaniels are generally very good with children, other pets and people outside of the family circle. It's advised that they should be introduced to other household pets at a young age so they can learn how to interact calmly with these other animals. It's also advised to do a lot of socialising of different kinds with your Cocker Spaniel as soon as you receive your puppy to help them become consistent well-rounded dogs. It's good for your Cocker Spaniel to see different types of dogs, people, other animals and outdoor sights and sounds. Interactions between your canine and children or animals should always be supervised as every dog does have a level of prey drive and accidents can happen. The Maltese and the Cocker Spaniel are two very different types of dog. The Cocker Spaniel is an active breed, whereas the Maltese is happy to curl up and nap with their family. It's down to your own personal preference and needs as to which of these beautiful breeds is the right choice for you. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button and get involved down on the comment section below. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. We have three dedicated Maltese videos coming here every single week. So I can't wait to touch you again on the next episode of the Fenrir Maltese. Tisha.